Hey ladies, it's me, April. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some stamping again. So the plate that I am going to be using is the Mora plate, and this is plate number 14, Moments. And the other plate that I'm gonna use is the Bentina, and this is the number I'm using. And then my stampers. These are my old stampers. I haven't used these in forever. Uh, is the creative shop and the other one is the Ches Delani. the glass holders guys that's just me that I found at the um, thrift store so they don't come with the stamper head these are all the polishes that I am going to be using today um, pretty much all of them the Essie I did not use so don't mind that one this is the clear jelly stamper book the adhesive where you can just put all the stamps that, you know, like the lint roller. And this is the polish that I'm going to use right now onto my middle finger, Concrete Catwalk. I really like this one. And I also heard good news about um, China Glaze, that they are changing their brushes to the wider ones. So I'm super duper excited for that because I that's one thing I did not like. I mean, I love China Glaze, but that's the one thing that I did not like that you know the brushes are so tiny um so that's that's really good on that part next coming up with building my empire this is a pretty little black that i love i just freaking love it and i'm gonna put that in on my index finger ring finger and pinky also my thumb but you don't see that in the video but I also do my thumb as well all right so I do do I do do <laughs> okay so I do put two coats of polishes you just don't see that in the video but let's go ahead and start with this this is a tonic nail polish it is a magnetic it is super duper pretty oh my gosh did you see all those colors in there it's like blue teal green purple pink i will show that more in in a little bit and you know a little bit I'll show it to you guys you know i'm sure you guys gonna want to see it anyways so um this is what i'm i'm doing you know i the first two nails i do it Kind of like the short way you know and then on my index finger i do it the wide way so when you do it the wide way it spreads out so i didn't know that and i was like darn you know what I, I mean it looks still pretty cool but you know it is what it is and then i was like okay well since i'm gonna do a second coat of that anyway so might as well I'll just do it the other way so so you guys can see here is what I was talking about I do it the wide way and it spreads out so I was like okay but you know I messed it up anyway so I mean either way you know magnetics you can't really mess up anything because they still look super duper pretty so yeah Alright, so now let's go ahead and do the second coat on this and hopefully I do it just a little bit better. Maybe I should use another magnet a little bit stronger because it wasn't working very well that magnet. But I think it's because it was all my magnets. All my magnets are like stuck together. So I don't know if that messes it up too. I really don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that one again. And we're gonna do the line, the smaller, shorter side. And then, I mean, you still see the one that I did behind it. So it doesn't matter, whatevs. It still looks super duper pretty. I mean, look at that. Yeah, ain't it cute? I just love it. And then here, you're able to see like the purple tone to it. Very. All right, so it's time to get some latex on. And I've been using this one and it smells beautiful. I just love caramel, anything latte. I love 
food scents a lot. I mean, so my all my candles that I have in the house, food scents, you know, except, you know, the Christmas time when I have that that uh, Christmas tree smell. Oh, I just love it. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back. Now, this right here, I thought I was freaking recording on how I did this um, stamp. And it was from off the Mora plate. And I used three colors. So I used like the beak and I put black on there. And then I put the orange and then I put the blue and then I scraped it and that came out. And then I also added white on top of it so I can have that like, you know, the white color because I'm going to put it on the gray. So I was so upset and I didn't even want to record it again because I was like, oh, you know, whatevs. Let's keep going. Let's move forward. It is 2019, y'all, and we're just looking, just going forward. So that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, so I'm going to be using the Chesdalani stamper. And we're going to be using these little leaves type shape. And we're going to put that on top of the nail. And oh my gosh, y'all, it is super cute. Watch this. It's been a while since I used this stamper, so I'm trying to like figure out where am I gonna, how am I gonna do this? And then boom, I put it on and holy moly, look at that. Ah, super pretty. Like dang, did I just do that? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tell you this video sounds, you know, a lot of talking, but you know what? Want to do something different and i hope you guys like this like i really do i really hope you guys like this video and me talking a lot more i don't know if that's gonna be a good thing or bad thing you guys comment down below and let me know about it please and also if you like this video too give me a thumbs up and a subscribe you know all that you know you, you guys know the jazz anyway so yeah let's keep going Plate, that image that I'm looking at, the, the green one, it actually looks like snowflakes. I don't know if I'm, I'm just looking at it too long. It looks like snowflakes. But anyway, so, so we're going to go ahead and take off the latex now. Sometimes this is satisfying, taking off the latex. Depends on what latex you're talking about. But, um, anyway, so yeah, and it looks super duper pretty. Now we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit more touch to it, you know, of, of gold onto the nails, as in like where the leaves kind of join together. That's where I'm going to put the little orange dots. This is just out of nowhere. I decided, hmm, last minute. Let's just do that. Okay, so now let's add my favorite top coat. And I use this top coat a lot when I use decals because it's so flexible. We're gonna just add that onto the stamp that y'all didn't see. Man, I'm still mad about it. But, I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys get the idea on how I did it. So we're gonna let that dry and put to the side. And I'm just gonna be cleaning around my edges, my cuticle area you know, with acetone. And this brush that I'm using is from Fab Your Nails. It's like the, it's like a really huge angular brush. It's really nice. I like it, but there's, I still do have a tiny little brush so I can get more in detail, you know? Oh, wow, look at that. Wow. Now we're going to go ahead and put some top coats and this is still the tonic topper top coat. I'm going to put that on all the green nails. 
I mean, I think this, it just looks so pretty. Man, it looks really pretty. I love it. Anyway, so yeah. So I checked out my stamper and my image was still not ready yet. It was still kind of wet. So I decided, let me do something else. So I decided to put on that gray area. We're going to just add like little feathers of this green around it. Kind of like a, you know, a green outline around the nail. And so when I put the parrot on top, it's going to look awesome. I am thinking. So just, you know, to save time to do something and not to save time, but to waste time. You know, well, my stamper over there is getting all dried up and stuff because it wasn't ready. You know. And I checked on the stamper and it is ready so I flip it over just to make sure everything looks okay I think it looks okay it looks decent so I get my scissors and I we're gonna go ahead and cut all the extra top coat off that's what we're doing cut them in off do, 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 do. So we're gonna put that onto the nail. And I'm trying to look at it and be like, okay, before I push down on it, I'm like, okay, you know, this looks pretty good. I get the stamper, I roll it on. The reason why I roll it on is just to make sure I don't get no extra air bubbles or anything on there. I use the stamper to make it easier for me, you know. Then I also use some acetone and I kind of like do a little bit of the outline of the gel, I mean not the gel, the top coat, kind of like brush it on and it melts it, you know? So, um, I don't know, but I think to me it, it makes it look, the decal look a little bit better because it kind of melts it and it kind of blends into the artwork already that's on your nail. So that's what I do. And then I let it dry, and then I add the top coat. I mean, this looks really pretty. Really pretty. Then I go ahead and get some black, and I notice, huh, you know, the eyes look kind of funny. So I get some black, put it down on the card, get my detailed brush, and then I just add an eyeball on there. And then maybe, you know what, let's add some more black stuff around. Right, and it's done. So what do you guys think? I think it looks really pretty. This is like my first kind of like forest looking type nails ever. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are not subscribed, please hit that button down there and see y'all in the next video. Bye.